Hey everyone, hope you're well. Here's a quick question. Are you feeling a tad frustrated about having so little control over things that are happening around you? If that's the case, then stay with me for just a few minutes and grab a few tips for making this a tad easier to manage. I'm pretty sure that you have been told at some point to accept things over which you have very little control. But my word, that's much easier said than done. Well, maybe this is because we work so hard to gain control over the things that we do. Many of us prefer driving around rather than being driven around. Uh, many prefer to do the work themselves rather than asking for help or delegating. And many others prefer to being the organizers rather than letting someone else organize. And if this is true for you, then this period of time in history will be especially difficult because there is so little control that we can exert over anything right now. And it might feel that this is a mountain to overcome, just to accept the difficulties and to accept the lack of control. But we can learn from a remarkable leader, a guy called Paul, who was exposed to some remarkably difficult circumstances way beyond his control. And he can teach us some valuable tips on how we can be better at learning to accept the things that we have little or no control over. And we're going to pick this up from Philippians 4. So let's read from verse 6. Uh, Paul says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. And then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. So Paul mentions a couple of interconnected thoughts that help us to accept what we cannot control. And they are choose not to worry and pray. Let's start with the first. Let's choose not to worry. Now I hear many people arguing the fact that if it were that simple, they would have already done it, right? And of course there is truth to that thought. It isn't easy to simply choose not to worry. It simply isn't. But the reason perhaps so many people struggle to do this is because choosing not to worry depends on our ability to replace the worry with something else. And Paul teaches us that prayer is the answer, that prayer is the replacement. And if we are to choose not to worry, we also need then to choose to pray about everything. Now, these two thoughts, choosing not to worry and choosing to pray about everything, are inextricably connected. And Paul explains that if you and I are going to be really good at prayer and use prayer to replace worry, we need to pray for two things, two areas that we need to focus on, our needs and our gratitude. So first, let's have a look at our needs. Uh, we need to let God know what we need. We need to pray for breakthrough and trust God for it. We need to pray for the healing we desire or for the income we're trusting for or for the blessings that we fully expect God to pour into our worlds. And I want to encourage you that when you pray, write them down as you pray. List them in all of their fullness. Document every single need and every desire you want God to meet and provide for. Because when we're writing them down, we're thinking carefully and articulating ourselves carefully. Now this is important because this clarity of thought is calming and it brings confidence into our world. But more than that, you know that you have a record of your prayer that you can look back on in the future, which is very useful when we take the next step. And that is to give thanks. This is about showing gratitude. Thank God for all that he has done. Thank him for all that he is about to do. You see, when we have to thank God for the things that he has done, we have to take time to think about what we're grateful for. We have to spend a little time acknowledging all the blessings we have and the answered prayers that we've seen and the provision from the past. And that's where the record of our prayer comes in handy. And if you and I have documented prayer in the past, we can read it now. And once we are taking the time, or once we've taken the time to remind ourselves of all the things that God has done, we recognize that he is good, so good, that throughout our past and despite the current circumstances, God has provided richly and often in many more ways than we could possibly have imagined. You see, we have trusted God in the past and he provided, which means we can rest assured that he'll do so again. And it's knowing this, it's understanding this, that makes learning to accept things over which we have very little control a whole bunch easier. This is ultimately about getting peace into our world. And it is truly the peace that God talks to Paul about and that he refers to in verse 7 when he says, Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. So if you're struggling to accept things over which you have little or no control, choose not to worry. Instead, pray about everything. Because when we do, we will truly find peace. I trust that this has been truly helpful to you and that you will move from strength to strength this week. God bless.